Hi friends! I sell a lot of stationery on my Etsy shop, and a while back I made a cute Valentine's Day themed illustration with a sloth. Well, I finally managed to get around making greeting cards out of them, and this is where I will show you exactly how I went about doing it. First, we make the artwork. For this particular piece, I used Clip Studio Paint. I will be making a video in the future about why I switched over from Photoshop, so do stay tuned for the tea. For the majority of my art, I scan the hand-drawn piece and open it on Clip Studio. The first thing I do is adjust the levels to both darken the lines and brighten the white areas. Once it's ready to be colored, I create a new layer, set it on multiply, and start painting. I do try my best to retain as much of the natural textures that come through the actual drawing, but I do lose some of them when I make the levels adjustment, so I import a textured paper image and set it on multiply to add more textures. There are a ton of other methods of incorporating textures into an illustration, and I'll go over that in another video. For now, a simple transparent texture layer works since the background will be white for the card. Alright, so with the art piece done, before I can even edit it into a proper card format, I need to pull out the template from the website that I use to print stuff. So I'm going to go to the marketing stationery, the greeting cards section, and then scroll down to where it says all purpose cards. And I'm just gonna upload my design. Here it's gonna ask me all this stuff right now it's not important I need to pull out their template so the artwork's gonna be vertical it's gonna be five by seven so it's gonna be this one I'm going to save the Photoshop version luckily clip studio can open Photoshop files so it's not even a problem opening the template on clip studio paint I import the illustration and position it to the right half of the canvas this is because what we're seeing here is the entire card design unfolded. The fold line is right in the middle, so whatever you design on the left side is actually going to be the back of the card. Once I've put it in, I converted it to CMYK on Clip Studio Paint by going to... Um, you go to File, and then Export Single Layer, and I like to do PNG because it saves the most type of information, and so yeah. I'm gonna save that. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, don't be an idiot and save it with the helpful text. Uh, you should definitely save it like that. Duh. Cool, so now that we're back onto Got Print's website, we're gonna look at all this information, and depending on what you like, you can change the settings. Personally, I like all of my cards to be uncoated cover. So it has kind of a textured feel to them. Yeah, looks good. We're gonna upload the front. I have really slow internet, so that took a solid minute to do. Uh, since I used their template, it already looks great. And there we go. It's already on my cart, I'm gonna pay it, and in about a week, they should be ready for me to pick up. So see you in about a week. We're here. Sorry, I've never vlogged in public. This is now I get it. It is kind of embarrassing. Oh god, here comes somebody. They're just trying. Yeah, so I got the email that they're ready. So I'm gonna pick them up right now. And I took a little friend with me. This is always kind of nerve-wracking because once you open up the box and then you realize either it's gonna be great product or you messed up the file. I guess we'll see right now. Here we are. Nice box of Valentine's Day cards. Let's see. Ooh. Ta-da. Wow. And when we fold it, look at that. Isn't that great, Huck? Huh, buddy? 
know, if I was gonna be really self-conscious about filming, maybe I shouldn't have parked right at the entrance. To take the final product photos for my Etsy shop, I use a white illustration board for backgrounds and take the photos with my phone. It's surprisingly easier and just as great than if you were to do it with a real camera, so nothing fancy is needed. And here are all the greeting cards I've designed so far, also available at my shop. If you have any questions about this process, leave a comment below and I'll answer them. For now, thank you so much for watching!